Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Leah. <laughs> Thank you, Lainey. Um, so, um, Lainey asked me a while ago to do a poem for this, uh, for her release party, and I was like, oh my god, I've known who you are for a really long time. I can't believe you're asking me to do this. I'm so excited. And she told me the theme was like myth mythology and death and rebirth and all of this stuff. And I was like, I love those themes. That's like my whole thing. Um, I sent her a bunch of poems and we decided on this poem I was going to do. It's, it was all rhyming and rhythmic and it was about like, you know, keeping going and all this stuff. And then today I was like, oh yeah, and I have this horse fucking poem too. <laughs> I just sent it to her. <laughs> so do that one. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Because she's the king, and it's Beltane, or something. It's the Ides of March, actually. Do you guys remember the, um, the, this isn't a poem yet. I'm just, I got into my poem voice, so. <laughs> Did I find my light, Karen? Am I in my light? Karen's not in here. The Living Lounge has great lighting if you find it. Um, <laughs> um, do you remember a few years ago that the, the guy who was a Boeing employee died on the horse fucking ranch? And there was like a video. I didn't see the video. But um, it, it became this whole thing. I got dared a few years ago to write a poem about that. Um, and so I did. And this is it. Man dies after sex with horse, Enum Claw Washington. The earliest gods were human figures with the heads of beasts, as though first carving divine beings in our own image, we could not help but acknowledge our animal nature. You did nothing wrong or even unlawful. Most should be so lucky to exit the flesh in throes of ecstasy. Surely your partner enjoyed your final gasp. You're an animal after all, and the holiest of precedents led you. The Olympian gods could not appear to human beings in their true form, for flesh cannot accommodate divinity without rupturing. Zeus and Apollo, therefore, often took the forms of beasts, eagles, swans, bulls, to woo and ravish mortal girls and boys. Hard to fault the attraction there's something regal about horses. Remember the rich girls in grade school primly straddling the postponement of their sex? Remember the quivering of the oil slick shank? Did you ever see that play Equus? It lays this out so clearly. If you'd lived to walk home that night, would you have played Oedipus, putting out your own eyes? Hubris was always the thing separating us from the animals. Outside of Apollo's oracle at Delphi, carvings warn mortals, know thyself. But the Greeks did not mean look inward or go to psychotherapy. <laughs> a more accurate translation of this inscription is know your place. You're not a god, you're a human. Your handmade rope tricks held that spirited beauty for only so long before surge of lust forced him free to fill up your guts with his aching. Humans always want to believe we can control nature. It's why we created gods. So we may envision our simian limbs manipulating the moon and the stars and the earth. Your earthly body burst open. Did you meet your creator? Do you finally know what you are? <laughs> 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 